What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to another Mad Review video. Um, in this episode, we're going to be reviewing the TLX 2020 by Zanarko. And in-game, the manufacturer is 82S. Um, it takes 27.3 megabytes to download and it is located under vehicles, under cars. Um, initial slot count is 8 and um, it costs 28,000 base. There are a whole bunch of options. Um, you have standard, you have preset 1, preset, and, and when you go to standard and you don't select preset 1, there are a whole bunch of other stuff you can go through. You have 1, 2, two engine sizes, a bunch of different lighting stuff you can do. So, or if you go to stand, if you go to um, preset, so the preset 1, everything is basically preselected and you lose the option of changing the additional extras and i believe the engine size as well um but basically um, i'm gonna purchase the base one just because you know just a, a quick run through um you can change the rim color you can change the design color you can change the main color and that's the palette you have to choose from and that's a whole lot you know john deere stuff like that all of that stuff um and that goes for both the for all three the main color the design color as well as the rim color <coughs> um so let's go ahead and purchase it really quickly um well, i think i did already yeah so this is what it looks like uh, when you go in on xbox you hold down the lb button actually no on xbox you just walk up to the vehicle you go ahead press x you go in and you see there's some nice mirror animations there you hold on rb and x to start the engine and then the right trigger to go forward left trigger to reverse rb and up usually give you your um your turn signals um so basically this vehicle has a whole bunch of attachments it makes it that much of a utility vehicle you have the basic flatbed, which it seems like it has a gooseneck attachment. I'm going to be testing that pretty soon. So let's take a look in here. Those are located under tools. On the miscellaneous. And you have the flatbed. You have the tipper. You have the tipper trailer. You have the, um, the, li the liquid or the lick IT, whichever way it's pronounced, and the trailer for that. You have the login. IT and you have the trailer for it as well so basically each one has an has the capability to go on the back and then have a trailer in the back as you can see for example the um, the tip it basically takes every single thing in the game every it basically holds anything solid in there um, I'm not too sure about the liquids it says it only takes manure and it looks like digested I want to test that um, here in a bit and I've obviously the login one will only hold logs predominantly. So let's go ahead and attach up to, you know, just to test it, let's go ahead and attach to the, um, the tipper really quickly. So you drive under it and you press A as you would if you were attaching to anything else. Um, let's see if it will take these, um, seeds over here so you fill the tipper up works normal and to unload let's see front load on all right i'm not seeing an option to unload it i'm let's let's take it for a spin really quickly and see Not see that do anything. Huh. All right. Not seen it give me an option to unload or load. Not too sure why, so. Let's go ahead and see if we can attach up to the, the trailer, the um, additional trailer. Let's see if that gives us any options to do anything. And it, it, it does not. I don't see... Is this the load arm? I'm not seeing a load arm. 
Right. So basically, it's not giving us any options to tip the, tra the, the, the trailer or anything. I'm not too sure why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's me. Alright, so it's not giving any options to tip. Um, it gave me an option to load it, but it's not giving an option to unload it. So I'm going to go ahead and... Take that off really quickly. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. I am going to test it out a bit, play around with it. But there was something I wanted to test with the... Um, with the flatbed it, it seems to have a gooseneck adapter i want to see if i can actually attach to that trailer over there really quickly so let's try that out oh so it does attach to it that's actually pretty cool i like this and you can unfold the tipper Oh, and then this is the one that you can actually load a vehicle in the back of it if you wanted to. Got you. Okay, so that works. That's what I wanted to test. Let's go ahead and leave that there for one second. Um, the next thing I wanted to test was what these, um, what kind of liquids this can actually hold. So let me go ahead, connect to one of these really quickly. gonna head to the farm and I'll bring you guys back when we're at the farm all right guys so we're at the farm so the first thing I wanted to test to see is if it could actually take fuel I'm not sure if it will let's see and it does not take fuel I'm going to put a water tank in and test that out, see if it takes water or if it really just takes manure and slurry and digest it. So actually it is slurry that it takes and digest it, not manure. My apologies on that one. So let's see. Alright, so it will take water. So my guess is it probably will take milk as well as everything else. So let me go ahead, head back to the, sh the, the shop and I'll bring you guys right back in. Alrighty, so we see that it, it actually can take water. I'm actually figuring that it would actually take uh, milk and stuff like that. I think what I'm going to end up doing is test that out on my let's play series on the um stone valley let's play series i think i might purchase this as my run around truck because it seems to be you know very utilitarian it, it it works it works in you know many different scenarios the only thing that i am trying to figure out is how do i dump how do i dump what i took in here I'm not seeing an option for that anywhere. Let's actually head to the farm with it like this. I'm thinking that because I don't own that land, it might be it might not be giving me the option. So let me head down to my farm and see if we can actually unload this. I'll bring you guys back when we're at the farm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. 
there it is let's see if there's an option now to unload there's no option to unload Oh, there we go. All right. So now there's an option to unload. So it wasn't unloading because we weren't on our land. So it, it, it works. So basically to unload, RBLB gives you the option there to unload and hit Y and then it unloads. So the tipper function is actually functional once you're on your own land. All right, guys. So basically what I think I'm going to do is end the, the mod review here. I will purchase this in my Stone Valley Let's Play series and I will give it you know you know more testing and see what happens and see what it works with from what it does not work with um that way you know we can see what what is really cool with it what is not what works what does not work um but at, in any case um hope you guys like the video if you do if you did please go ahead and hit the like button uh, please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with what's going on and hit that bell beside the subscribe button and please go ahead leave a comment if there are any mods that you guys would like to see reviewed and thanks again for watching.